Back behind Our Savior Lutheran Church, it used to be just piled up garbage, but thanks to Yvonne Short of the Regal Park Green Alliance, this is now a pocket garden. Tell us about it, Yvonne. Well, I'm so happy to be a part of this project. Probably around six months ago, we realized that we could really do something with this space, and so we just said, let's do it. And Our Savior has just been great in working with us and making this into something really special. We call it our pocket garden because it's an oasis in an urban setting. So I'll just tell you a little bit about it. Uh, over here, we basically, these are our conversation pieces and they're surrounded by little rocks that were actually donated to us by Colta Ives. She basically brought these in from her garden in the Berkshires and that was really great. And then what we did was we have here is pea stone and over here is the uh, cedar mulch and we're, we call these our conversation areas. So you basically have, in this case, we have actual trunks from trees that we cut off and well actually they, the trees were, had fallen. So we took a little chunk of it and we put some handles on it and you can basically sit on these. And these are kind of like our little conversation pieces. So you come in the circle and you can sit here and you can converse with someone. And then you step outside of the circle and here you have the planting area. In this case, here we have a river birch and this will kind of come up and then it will just keep growing and produce lots of beautiful greenery and some flowering flowers as well. So that's really exciting. Over here we've planted some tulips and the idea is that we'll continue to plant little things around the river birch to give it some color and just to kind of promote a community feel and give everybody the ability to continue to plant. We actually made this for $15. So that was really exciting. We just basically have three pieces of wood and um, we have some brackets on either side and that's it, 15 bucks. Behind us we have a vine and basically there's two vines and they will grow up and around and they'll produce flowers. And we'll actually start tying them to the fence so that we can cover some of the fence and have these beautiful flowers. We also have planters with a variety of petunias and marigolds inside to help give color to the area. And then we have our cypresses in the back here, which will continue to grow straight up and they will just kind of hide this back wall and continue to uh, give it a pleasant feel. So once again, we're just really thankful that the community kind of came together so that we can produce, that we could produce this oasis. Thanks, Yvonne. Setting.